And my challenge! By the ancient laws of combat, we are met at this chosen ground to settle for good and all! Who holds sway over the five points? Hello everyone, welcome to City Hall Park. This area located in downtown Manhattan, right next to City Hall building and Tweed Courthouse. These are two buildings which actually a point of interest for me today because both of these buildings were built back in 19th century. The City Hall building was built in 1811 and Tweed Courthouse was built back in 1860s and 1870s. And both of these buildings stood right here when the Five Points neighborhood was just a couple blocks away from this very place. Five Points was a 19th century neighborhood in Lower Manhattan. The neighborhood partially built on land which had filled with a freshwater lake known as the Collect Pond. And basically the area was defined by Center Street, Bowery, Canal Street and Park Row. All of the streets still exist in New York City and you can find them on the map. The Five Points became so popular as densely populated, disease-ridden, crime-infested slum of New York City that existed for over 70 years in downtown area. In 20th century, the former Five Points area was gradually redeveloped with streets changed or sometimes even closed. The area is now occupied with the Civic Center to the west and south which basically includes major federal, state and city facilities. And to the east and north, the former Five Points neighborhood is now a part of Manhattan's Chinatown. The name Five Points comes from two crossing streets and a third that ends in their intersection for five corners. And that's it. Pretty simple. In New York City, you still can find those three streets. It's Worth Street, Park Street, and Baxter Street. But as I told you guys, they changed a lot of things around here. A lot of redevelopment happened in this area. So to find the exact location of five points is a quite difficult task right now. I can probably point out only one specific location, the intersection of Worth Street and Baxter Street, it still exists. And they even have like a street sign over there, uh, which says uh, Five Points. can't really tell you if this is the original Five Points intersection or not, because as you can see, it's a lot of uh, things changed in this area. But at least we got Tweed Courthouse building and the City Hall building right here. Both of them come from uh, 19th century, they're very much historic. And from this point guys, we're gonna take a nice walk towards Foley Square and towards uh, Columbus Park as well. And also we're gonna stop by Collect Pond Park. This area actually gets really crowded during uh, weekdays because it's a lot of uh, city, state and federal employees in this area. But during weekends it's pretty nice and quiet. Well, sometimes it gets filled with tourists but not as much because a lot of tourists actually going towards Brooklyn Bridge, which is located in, in the area as well. But uh, today we're not going to go to the Brooklyn Bridge. I think I'm going to create a separate video about the Brooklyn Bridge, guys.
Another point of interest is Manhattan Municipal Building, or officially known as David Dinkins Municipal Building. It's a 40-story building located at 1 Center Street. For some reason, some people thinking that the building was built back in 1930s or 40s. Oh, well, uh, actually the building was built in 1914, and the main reason why they decided to build this such a huge structure for New York City government employees is pretty simple. Back in 1898, uh, they had the consolidation of the city's five boroughs, so the amount of city employees increased, and they needed extra space for those employees. So that's why they built such a huge uh, municipal building. And right after this building, we got one police plaza. It's basically NYPD headquarters. Also in this area, we have St. Andrew Church, which some people think it's a super like old historic church, but no, it's it was built back in 1939. Um, but as you can see, this area also was redeveloped in 20th century and even the municipal building actually took about two two and a half blocks um, to be built and yeah all this entire area was redeveloped guys rebuilt and it used to be five points as well all these tall buildings uh, most of them are actually courthouses um, They've been built back in 1940s, 1950s, so all these buildings, that's the exact redevelopment project which happened here in 20th century. And when they were building all these big buildings, they probably demolished a few streets or renamed a few streets, you know, things happen. And um, yeah, it used to be slums here, and now it's a... Uh, pretty huge government district because it's several court buildings it's several municipal buildings which belongs to new york city it's a few federal buildings as well they do have a manhattan detention center around this area so yeah it's a lot of like government buildings so basically five points from slums became like a government area Remember that I mentioned that the neighborhood was partially built on the land which had been filled with a freshwater lake known as the Collect Pond? Well, here's the Collect Pond Park. And the park basically built on the spot where the original lake used to be. Obviously, there is no water anymore. And, uh, well, the park itself actually looks really sad to be honest i mean i don't know like uh, I've, I've seen way better parks and to be honest new york city can do a better job with this park in in, in this area but i guess since uh, this park surrounded by a whole bunch of different courts and district attorney's office they just kind of disregarded this area but um, anyways yeah the collect pond park located in this area as well and well the name comes you know from the historic collect pond which used to be right here on this very spot well guys as you can see nothing really left from the 19th century in this area except for tweed courthouse and the city hall building but five points are completely gone even the neighborhood's name is completely different these days so yeah now you officially actually in chinatown i believe so since you're in chinatown i would highly recommend you to go and try some really cool and tasty chinese food and uh, well if you want to walk a little bit more you can go to little italy they got also really nice and wonderful italian food also if you're looking for other destinations uh, such as like let's say museums well they do have a really interesting uh, synagogue which is located on Eldridge Street it's right next to Manhattan Bridge you can go there I actually recently went there and did a video in there so you can check the video see if you like it and you can visit the synagogue but in general thanks so much for your time Thank you that you watched all the way till the end.
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like this video it actually really helps with youtube algorithms again thank you so much for your time guys i hope i'll see you soon have a nice one bye bye